Hey everyone, it's getting a little cold out here in Idaho, so we're going to start getting a few things ready for winter. Um, today we're going to put together a few vole baits. Um, darn little critters like to come into the yard and eat the grass all up, make tunnels all over everywhere, so in the spring you have a nice uh, corn maze, mini corn maze, I guess, if you will. But uh, So we try to stop them from doing that. Um, this uh, vole bait that I make is... Uh, uh, it's a vole bait dispenser, and it was something that a, a local farmer here showed me how to do. So I thought maybe I'd share that in case someone might be interested. It's real simple to make. Just do it out of some PVC. So here we go. We'll get started. Okay, so here we have all the pieces cut. It's real easy just sticking together. Now, the one thing I do different um, from what I was taught how to do it was that I actually, you notice I cut this on an angle when I cut this in half. I did that so that I can go like that or turn them that way. And then it has just a little shelter there so moisture doesn't get in the ends. But anyway, you just simply put them together with a T on the, each end. Like that, just put one T in the center, twist them straight, tap them together, put the riser on it, like that, and then what you do is you just, I use a piece of rebar, we'll go out and put one in and show you, but I just stick a piece of rebar down in the ground and then uh, use a zip tie to hold this to it, put a bunch of old bait in here, and then just put a cap on it. And what that does is it allows the voles to go in both ends of the tubes, eat the bait, whatever, and, and leave. And yet birds and other animals can't get to the bait, so it's safe for them. So let's go install one and show you how it works.
Okay, so there you have it, bowl bait set, bait inside of it. Um, as you can see, my field kind of surrounds my yard. So I put them about every 50 feet or so around the edge of the yard. See one coming up here. And, you know, I can't guarantee it's gonna stop bulls 100%, but since I started doing this a couple years ago, the bull mess in my yard every spring has been a whole lot less so it's definitely worth doing for me here's another one as you can see i've got them all just down the line here so anyway thanks for watching and hopefully this will give somebody some ideas and help them out if they're having trouble with molds coming in and eating their yards up during the winter